Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is peace out to the rest of you. Black heart sign of black. And again, asking you to hit that share button. If you hit like or subscribe, thank you. But the share button's where it's at. I'm not going to make this introduction long. I can't. Let me just suffice it to say this. Um, a legitimate question has been asked of me maybe two times in the comments section, but I'm going to answer it for the audience. Again, this time a bit more in depth. Why do I tell you Islam is the solution? But then I don't talk a whole lot about it, and I talk about this red pill family, all this domestic stuff, right? Well, here's why. I've given the question, and I've thrown the name Shadid Muhammad to you as the one to whom you can ask more in-depth questions, because he can explain it better than I can, and uh, he could prevent misconceptions to which I might lead, and accidentally. But you got to go, and you got to send this kind of stuff to him. Um, if he can't do it all by himself, and I'm sure he can't, I'm sure he can also tell you who else it is that knows uh, both, knows both uh, the issues we deal with as a community and the solutions contained in Islam, because you can go to these um, imams and, and even the educated ones from other countries they know the solution well i mean they know the religion but they don't know the problems so they haven't had experience trying to apply the problems they understand the preventive measures they know the preventive med uh, medicinal aspect of the revelation they don't know the curative aspects of the revelation because they haven't needed them for certain things they've needed them for others or they've ignored them for others but their issues are different they do have them don't get me wrong but they're different and they ain't done much of a good job of confronting them. So, this being said, I want to uh, I want to go ahead and give um, more substance to the answer. Uh, yesterday morning, my time, which would have been the night before yesterday morning, your time, I woke up, and when I finished praying, I uh, couldn't go back to sleep. And I didn't want to wake up my wife, so I sat quietly, thumbed through Facebook, and lo and behold, I found a post by a man who uh, is a pious Muslim, and he lives in the city in which I used to live in the United States. The post told me that that which we are trying to combat has already made its way, not just into the African American community, we knew this, but into the Muslim African American community and frankly not just there either but into the more pious recesses and corners of the African American community now this man is Muslim first and he's Muslim last he's glad to be African American but this man does not put any culture his yours mine the Arabs or the Pakistanis or the Indian he, he didn't put anybody's culture above the revelation his sins are small and private. So for him to see this means he ain't living that life. It means that he is seeing the effects of it hit somebody else. Later on, I, I scrolled down and I saw that he had posed uh, in a picture with his sons. His sons are at mar marriageable age. So he may be looking for wives uh, this means that he would go to the pious parents of daughters. Now, for him to post what he posted, like I said, he had to see something. And it couldn't be something to which he contributed. It had to be something he just stumbled upon and saw that hit him, hit home, hit someone he knew. Uh, there's pretty much only one avenue. And that's the one I mentioned. He's trying to find somebody for at least one of his sons. He went to some pious parents who should have raised uh, their baby better. And they told him she's going through a phase. She wants this, that, and the other. She wants one June bug thug niggas. And if your son's not it, it ain't going to work right now. She needs to grow the hell up. Now, pious parents who find that their son or daughter is wayward. Truly pious parents will tell the other parents, my son or daughter's wayward compared to your daughter or son. There may be something else, but I can't imagine what it is. I admit, 
I never met him personally. I saw him from a distance when I lived there, but it was from a distance. I recognized him when I saw him on Facebook, but we know some of the same people personally face to face. That being said, um, what I was trying to combat within the larger African American community has already made its way exactly where the hell I did not want it to make its way. Because see, this issue here, it undermines not just marriages and families, it undermines the institutions of marriage and family. And now it's in not only another Muslim community, but it's in the pious corners. I should say the upper pious levels or upper levels of piety in this community. Not that the pious are practicing it, but that some of their people, some of their offspring are falling victim to this. Now, if that's what it's going to be, then you know what? I'm done um, trying to fight this thing within a particular spiritual community or trying to prevent it. I was glad to participate in the inoculation efforts uh, before it got that far for either my spiritual community or any other within the ethnic community, but mostly for my own spiritual community. I won't lie. However, I mean, I already know it's, it's, I know it's a problem in the church. You know, the, the pious church sister wants to save the thug and bring him to Jesus so that she'll have a Christian husband, uh, by whom she can feel protected with whom she can feel safe because a Christian husband that never walked that path can't make her feel safe. You see, I already know about that. Um, you get the idea and why I'm so uh, broken up by it, seeing him go through this. And this is after something else I know we had to go through that had something to do with this. But this one really, this woke me up, sobered me the hell up. So that's why I do it. That's why I record this. And then turn around and tell you Islam is a solution. Even for us, SYSBM is the way because it, it's because Sapphire has closed off every other corner. Sapphire has closed off every other avenue. Sapphire is dead set against anything else. She's dead set against this too, but she's left no other alternative. So even for us in my spiritual community, it has to be SYSBM. You just can't find what you're looking for um, in the West. Even oftentimes, it's not that it doesn't exist at all. It's just that it, apparently even for us, it's so rare now. I mean, if it, if it gets started, once it's started, then we already know. Once the problem is started, we know that the immune people, the ones unaffected, become too rare. And they become unavailable. You get the idea. You understand what I'm telling you now. This is why it is that I... Um, Keep telling you Islam is a solution. And I tell you to look into it. Go to the experts, preferably African, West African or African American experts in the religion and ask them how these things can be used as a, a, a solution for our people. And then I turn around and I talk about these issues that don't seem to be religious at all. Now you understand why. Specifically, so that I would not see what I wound up seeing anyway on Facebook early yesterday morning. It's like, honestly, to me, it's like uh, building a moat around a campfire so that the campfire would not burn down the entire forest. Only to find out that somebody came behind you the whole time, fanning sparks away from the fire across the moat just so that they would catch on some leaf and burn the forest down any goddamn way. That's what it's like. You were trying to prevent it, and uh, 
somebody came along and made sure that it went there anyway. That's that's in a nutshell. It's exactly what it's like. It's it's like, um, it, it's like someone telling you that at the intersection of these two highways, uh, there's a major fire, <laughs> and it's a ditch. So you're not going to drive through the flames. You're going to drive through, crash into a ditch, and then you'll burn even more. So you decide, okay, well, I'm going to get the names of these two highways so that I don't go to their intersection. And I'm going to apply the alternate course. And someone hands you a map that was changed and altered just so that you would go into that intersection anyway while you were trying to avoid it. That's, that's exactly what this feels like. And this is why I'm going to get on you goons and ma'am dingoes in my next recording. This is the reason for it. You ain't going to like it. Now, I'm going to let you know straight up. Loadcast, um, I'm not going to dig into you when I do that recording because in your last recording, you said that you're not going to stop the criticism, but you also said it doesn't mean we hate you. And since you had that sort of civility, I'm going to have that sort of civility towards you in the next recording, Lord willing. But your camp is not going to like what I'm going to say. And I can understand why they wouldn't. Otherwise, they wouldn't be in that camp in the first place. But if the criticisms are not going to stop, then my defense is not going to stop. Hopefully one day, neither one of them will be necessary. Until such time, I hope that what I've said now benefits. You know who, sign a blackout. Asalaamu Alaikum.